Hi guys, this is Dia and welcome back to my channel. So I am bringing to you guys my another cleaning video which is my kitchen cleaning. This is what I usually do in the afternoon when my daughter Dhyani is taking a nap. And because she is taking a nap, I want to make it as silent as possible because otherwise she always ends up waking up. So I won't be using any vacuuming or mopping machines, rather I'll be doing it manually. So without any further ado, let's get started and let's dig in into my cleaning routine. Let me know in the comments below if you like such videos and I'll do more often. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such cleaning, organization, DIYs and funny baby videos. So this is how my kitchen currently looks. Quite messy. <laughs> There are dishes on the dining table, crumbs everywhere on the floor, thanks to my little one. Her high chair, pram and walker, they all need some cleaning. I like to start my cleaning with my dining area and finish it off first to avoid cluttering my kitchen again. So I will clear the tabletop and transfer all the dishes to the kitchen then wipe the tabletop to get rid of any leftover food. I'm using Windex glass cleaner here as we have glass tabletop. Firstly, I just wipe it with microfiber cloth followed by wiping it with paper towel to get rid of any marks and add some shine. Next, I will spray some GIF disinfectant on Tiani's high chair and thoroughly clean it. I like to move out all the chairs out of the dining room to clean the floor. As Diani is napping, I'll use my Indian sweep followed by mopping. The bottom of my dining table is also very really shiny, kind of stainless steel shine. So I'll give it a good rub with some glass cleaner. Time to put all the chairs back and this room's cleaning is done. Now on to the main mess that is kitchen. I will start by putting all the trash into a temporary trash bag. It just saves me to and fro to my main bin. Then I will put away any leftover food that needs to go into the fridge, put away any items that need to go in back into the pantry or the drawers. Basically declutter the space. Then I will rinse the dishes to load into the dishwasher and hand clean the ones that didn't go into the dishwasher or they're too big like cooker, chopping board etc.
Once all the kitchen is decluttered, I will wipe the countertop with my GIF antibacterial spray. I like to use GIF cream for my stainless steel like gas burner and sink as it adds shine to them. I like to put away all the dishes that I have washed with hands so I'll just quickly wipe them and put them back into the drawer just makes my kitchen look so much cleaner I'll also quickly wipe down my glossy white furniture as they tend to get dirty quite easily especially having a toddler at home. I like to clean her stroller and walker every day as well as I give her food on them to keep her occupied when I am actually doing some work in the kitchen, cleaning or cooking or just doing any errands. The final step, the cleaning of the floor. As I mentioned earlier, today I will be manually sweeping and mopping the floor as I don't want the honey to wake up. However, I have my morning power hour video coming up shortly after this one in which I will use my hand flow cleaning machines. So don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell icon to get a notification when the video is up. We have a little corner table in our kitchen which tends to get easily cluttered so I like to clean it every now and then during the day. So that's it guys for this video. This is how my final kitchen looks. And let me know if you like my cleaning routine. Please leave some comments below and I'd love to read them. So that's it for now. Thank you. Bye-bye.